Could you direct me to the first national grocery store? I hear they have a shop in town. I don't know nothing about that. Oh, well, you see, I'm looking for a young lad called Brian Burnham. I'm a friend of the family. He worked in the store. Don't know who you're talking about, fella. I'm looking for Brian Burnham. Can't help you. Excuse me, Constable. Jack Walters. Ah, uh, robes. Alien robes. What do you want? Could you help out a stranger to this fine port? Are you being funny? No, not at all. I'm after directions to the First National. I hear they have a store in town. Innsmouth don't take too kindly to them from out of town. Get lost, stranger. I'm looking for Brian Burnham. I can't be seen talking to you, jerk. I can't see anything of use. There's a bottle of bootleg... Can't see anything of use. Holy shit! Ah, from the stench in here, this noose broad must have kicked it a few months back. Hello, Jack. Do I know you? Lucas Mackey. Sorry to startle you. Insmith doesn't get a lot of visitors. New names spread fast. What are you doing in town, Jack? Hear about the missing Burnham boy? Not bad. I'm a private detective. My client's a friend of the Burnhams. Seen the latest press from Arkham? Your boy's been quite busy. Hmm. What about you, Mackie? You're obviously not a local. What's your business in town? <laughs> True enough, Jack. Nothing too exciting, I'm sorry to say. I'm a government factory inspector. They posted me in this rotten hole to check over the old Marsh refinery. Speaking of which, I've got an appointment with the manager, Jacob Marsh. Okay, maybe I'll catch you later. That's the first friendly face I've seen in this damn town. But I've been in this business long enough to know he's hiding something. It's just a trash can. Nothing of interest. Stop pestering me, stranger. Evening. Uh, the name's Jack Walters. It's a pleasure to meet you, Miss... Miss will do for now. Welcome to Innsmouth, Mr. Walters. Thanks, I think. Take my advice. Do what you must and then leave. Tonight, this port does not cater well to visitors. While I appreciate your concern, Miss... I can handle lousy hospitality. Very well, Mr. Walters. Hello, Mackie. Jack, swell to see you again. Any leads on the Burnham case? Nope. Did you know the lad at all? Just pleasantries. Seemed a nice enough fella, if a little rough around the edges. Strange business, though. I'd never have fingered him as a crook. The First National was a well-run store. A rare thing here in Innsmouth. Okay, Mackie. Thanks. Goodbye, Jack. Be careful what you're doing. Very careful. Innsmouth's a dangerous place. Not everyone who visits here ends up leaving by the old bus route. This Mackie character knows plenty. But I don't think grilling him for scraps of information is gonna crack this case. And the ship that loves the blast with a good wine piping 
With a good wind pipe in early in the Solens Galen smile. Ah, my voice, these are the joys of the noble and the brave. Who love a life in the tempest strife in the home of the mountain wave. When the driving rain of the hurricane puts the lights of the lighthouse out. And the growling thunder sounds is gong. Who's that there? Oh, can you spare a few pennies, young mister? I can give you something for your generosity. Who are you? Zadok, that be my name. Though too few years it now. Zadok Helen. Do you know a Brian Burnham? Just a young'un. Worked over the store. He's gone. Killed, I reckon. Killed? What makes you think that? Them's from out of town running a store. Taking business from the Order of Dagon. They'd not accept that. What else can you tell me about this port? Ye just bring old Zadok a bottle of something nice, and old Zadok will fill your ears. If you pardon my asking, have you lived here in this port all your life? Less than seven years in old lady Warren's house. Before that, over by a fishing canary. Can a canary? Old lady Warren's? You live in the town poorhouse? Go and fetch me a bottle of something to wet old Zidok's whistle, and I'll tell you all. Why, you're uncommonly kind, young feller. Here be a little something in gratitude that might help you in your search. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> ah. Now you be calling me crazy. Like them that's thar rumorin' an anchorum in lip switch. But old Zadok's seen all manner of wicked things since before you was born. Mm. Ah. Old Captain Mobit where it all began. Telling desperate folks they'd order get better gods. Them's that would answer their prayers. Didn't the Christian folk of Innsmouth object to such blasphemy? Aye, they did. It were around 46 that many folks in town were done with Ovid and his way. And all that wild preaching and too many missing, you see. Uh, a party of good folk followed Captain Ovid's crowd out to the reef. Shots were fired. Next day, Obed and thirty of his fathers were in jail. And for weeks all were quiet, till that artful night of forty-six. Them's out outside reckon out it being a riot. But I'd seen them. Swarms of them. Look, old man. I don't have time to listen to these fishing tales. Oh, was a massacre. The jail thrown open, mounds of the dead and the dying, <gasps> shooting and screaming and shouting all across the town square. Come morning, the mess was cleaned up. Old Obed and his family takes charge, they did. Folks were told to keep shy as strangers if we were knowing what was good for us. Sadok. Who did all this? Who did all this? Said the old captain was now deeper in debt to his even gods. They were hankering for more than just sacrificing. Obed told folks they had to take the oaths of Dagon. What the hell are these oaths? You just asked old wastes about oaths of Dagon. Aye, he take the third oath. 
Just stand over to this hole in the dark street. Then you'll see. For definite. He's given me a key to the town poorhouse. It could come in handy. Mr. Walters, I must speak with you. It's Jack. And just hold on there a minute, sweetheart. Are you gonna even tell me your name? My name's Rebecca Lawrence. And unless you want to join Innsmouth's long list of missing, I'd urge you to follow me. Missing, huh? Like Burnham? Of that, I'm not sure. You'd be better off asking the Billingham's daughter, Ruth. She was dating Brian. What? Who's Ruth? Quickly, you have to follow me. It's not wise to be seen talking to outsiders. Jack, Innsmouth is a strange place. There are things that have no business being here. Foul, reeking things. Strange? Trust me, I'm good with strange. That remains to be seen, but I can help you. My father discovered this strange sign while studying an old manuscript. It seems to ward off the more unusual elements in Innsmouth. Whenever you find one, you can use it to find a moment of sanctuary. Now, I must leave before we're seen together. I've seen that eye-like symbol somewhere before, but never surrounded by a star. I see you without fire. I'll report your order. I'll not say nothing. This town's deserted. Where is everybody? Just leave me be, stranger. Since old Lady Warren's passed away, the food is rotten, but we'll die soon enough. What are you looking at there, old-timer? Nothing. I'm just looking. What are you doing in old Warren's house, young feller? This hole is for the broke and the dying. I'm trying to find Dock Street. It's out back of the house. Everything in Innsmouth is rotten and dying. Windows boarded up. And all sorts of curious barking and crawling around black cellars and attics. How would you like to be living in a town like this, fella? I've been to more welcoming places. I don't think he's been outdoors for years. He isn't gonna know anything. Jesus, those people have been with me. That's why they were cordoning off this tunnel. Hello there, little lady. Hi, sir. Are your parents at home? Daddy's at work, and Mummy's upstairs, in the attic. She's been bad. I see. So, what's your name, little lady? Ramona. Well, Ramona, could you get your Mommy for me? Nope. Mummy bites. Daddy says we've got to keep her up there for her own good. Excuse me? When I go near the door, she growls. I don't love Mummy like I love my Daddy. You don't say. Ramona, I really need to speak to your Daddy. Do you know when he'll be home? Soon, I think. You can wait inside if you like. Daddy won't mind. I'm drawing pictures with my crayons. That would be great. Thanks. I should check the place over while I've got the chance. Of drawers. Nothing of it.
last thing I loved away from me. I'm sorry. I didn't realize what was up there. What the hell was that thing? There's no time to explain. They'll be here soon. Listen to me closely. You've been the talk of the town all day, asking after the Burnham lad. I heard he never made it to Boston, that he was copped by the Order of Dagon. Did he pocket anything from the store's safe? Thankfully, no. It's sturdy. He'd never have wrenched it open with a crowbar. There's something in there that needs protecting from the Order. You've got to get it out of Innsmouth. Take the key to the back of my store. The safe combination's in my diary, upstairs. Hurry, Jack! What the hell's in the safe, anyway? You've gone too far this time, wait. We're taking you in for murder. You'll swing for this. Wait, he didn't do anything wrong. He killed his own daughter. It's down to less than blood. There's plenty wrong with that. I'm reckoning you do well to mind your own business, stranger. It ends must we handle things by the old ways. Jack, Jack. Oh, thank God I found you. Waite's been arrested for the murder of his daughter. I know. It's my fault, Rebecca. What are you talking about, Jack? What's your fault? There was something in the attic. Some kind of animal, and I let it loose. It's all my fault. The police dragged Waite's off. You can't take the fall for this. He's done nothing wrong. We gotta do something. Guilty or not, the Order will see him lynched for it. There's nothing you can do. Oh, you must have taken quite a bang in there, Jack. Your head's bleeding. Yeah, I think I was out of it for a little while. I see you've got some bandages. Use them on your head. It'll help you heal. You're not losing too much blood. You won't need a suture. Thanks, Rebecca. You don't look like your standard crook, sweetheart. Jesus, you crazy sap! Who the hell are you? Jack Walters, private detective. And considering your recent break-in and entering, how about I ask the questions? Have you any idea who I am? No, and I really don't care. My family has influential contacts in the Order, so I'd advise you to mind your manners, sir. <laughs> I'm from out of town. The Order doesn't hold much sway with me. Really? Out of town, you say? How interesting. I'm Ruth. Ruth Billingham. Huh. You're Brian's broad. That figures. Brian? Uh, I don't believe I know a Brian. Yeah, right. I've been fed that line a thousand times, and for much better liars than you. Look, Ruth. The rumor around town is that your lover boy is in the hands of the Order. What? No, that's not true. They'll have him killed. It was all my idea. I just wanted a clean break from here. What do you want me to do? I don't know. You're the detective. You think of something. I'll be waiting out at the old fishing cannery the next two nights, just past the abandoned railway station to Rowley. When you find him, give him this. He'll know it's from me. <laughs> <laughs> 